Hey, hello traders, how are you? Vladimir here from Home Trader Club. And in this video, my uh, analysis and trading plan on the pound Aussie. Uh, and it would be also a follow up to the explanation I uh, delivered for this uh, uh, pair already in the weekly Forex forecast just several days ago. If you missed this video, make sure you watch it right now on the right top corner of this video. Uh, you can find the direct link to watch the weekly forecast, or you can find it, of course, in the channel as well. So the plan for this pair was buy the dips uh, with expectation from this pair to continue the bullish momentum that it currently has with um, full synchronization with the higher time frames. Okay, so we got the pullbacks. We are holding again broken resistance becomes support, broken resistance becomes support. It made a beautiful bounce to this zone and respected. Take a look how beautifully it respects the middle, the part of the Bollinger Band. Okay, so right now we managed to see a beautiful rally go all the way to the previous high, cleans that and bounces back. All that under the potential slow down sign of a bearish divergence. As you can see, the market is making higher highs versus lower highs on the moving average of the MACD, histogram of the MACD and the RSI. That creates a condition of bearish divergence. But let's try to understand, is that a sign that should concern us anyhow? For that, we need to go back to the higher time frame and check is there anything changed here? Because we have to remember, lower time frames, even when they have signs against us, not necessarily means the game is over. Pullbacks are welcome, but many times pullbacks allow us to join and continue with the higher time frame. But before I continue the analysis on the higher time frame, I would like to take the opportunity and to thank Mugen Markets for supporting myself, my channel, my community. Uh, and you can learn more about Mugan Markets Broker. What do they offer uh, and what amazing features they have for traders with the link below this video in the description. So going to the higher time frame, uh, the, uh, I want to remind you what we discussed about on the weekly forecast. We discussed about this high here in play and also this high and these spikes, right? That's a significant area. And if we plot Fibonacci expansion on this, three waves, we will figure out that they end. Take a look here, the expansion 61 and 100 of the different waves. That's a classical, I love to call it a magnet zone as it uh, basically pulls and then, you know, to towards itself. So I do anticipate for the longer run, the figure try to reach this zone. And if I go to the daily chart, is there any concern that the current trend is over? The answer is again, no. Pullbacks are welcome, but these pullbacks usually brings nothing more than a further continuation. And that's exactly how I am looking at the current price movement. So the first rally we were looking at, again, um, if you missed this video from the weekly forecast, make sure you watch it right top corner. You can find there with the exclamation mark uh, click on that and you will find the link or find directly in the channel. Now, with this higher highs on the chart, lower highs on the indicator, it's a potential signs of a slowdown. So we might see here some attempt to create, you know, like with the momentum, right? Then pullbacks and further continuation. And any pullback towards the previously created supportive areas, right now we have this resistance and the support, it becomes a classical area. Right? Any pullbacks with a good bullish evidence can serve us uh, um, for possible continuation upside, okay? So my bullish view remains on, pullbacks are welcome, but as I just explained, I believe that these pullbacks are not enough to change the game and any pullback that will uh, take place, if will take place, we cannot predict that, uh, should be considered as an opportunity 
to look for further bullish evidences and continuation upside okay and for those who are riding the bullish um, momentum already and join the pullbacks then uh, as uh, i always do for myself once i start to see significant level like in that case right we go very close to 192.50 quarter of a round number it's right here okay so when i see um signs against on key day uh, on key level in that case the 192.50 right and bearish divergences on all the indicators that's a good place to consider initial management for short terms of course okay for long term the game does not change and remember at the moment it's only the four hour chart having the signs against us the rest are still bullish okay that's why in majority of such cases it's nothing more than a pullback before the continuation so um that will be it for this video so i would like to take the opportunity and to thank you for your time watching this video if you find value in this video and other videos i upload for you in this channel please hit the like button if you are new to this channel welcome to our community and please consider to subscribe with the subscribe button below this video and i invite you to join us in our trading family the home trader club where you will get your access to our full comprehensive trading courses for beginners and advanced real-time trading education real-time trading opportunities our community myself and so much more in the members area join us with the link below this video in the description thanks again for your time best to you and yours and i'll see you soon with more bye for now and good trading